Hey guys, Kirk here from Acid Bite, and today we're going to talk about our burning paper transition. So as you can see, I'm starting off with my two clips already in the timeline, and all my other files are already imported. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take my second clip and drag it above the first clip, and then you need to select which burning paper you're going to use. So in this case, I'm going to pick number six, because I like this one a lot. So then what you need to do is you need to overlap these clips exactly the length of the burning paper clip, okay? So that your second clip needs to start at the start of the burning paper and your first clip needs to end at the end of the burning paper. So once you've done that, we need to go up to the blending mode of the burning paper clip and come down and select Silhouette Alpha. And what that does is it takes all the alpha data of the burning paper clip and it transfers it onto the underlying clips below. Now, like I said, it transfers the alpha data onto all the underlying clips, which unfortunately we actually don't want. We only want the information to be on our second clip. So we're going to select the burning paper and the second clip together and make a new compound clip with just these two. And from here, the transition is already halfway done. But what you're probably going to notice right away is that the fire isn't actually visible anymore. So what we're going to do is we're going to go back up and re-grab the same fire MOV and pull that back on top and make sure that you mute the audio on this clip because the audio is actually already inside the compound clip. And then we just come up to the blending mode again and for the fire MOV choose screen and there you have it. Now if you feel like you need more fire you can simply duplicate this layer and, and double the intensity or you could come over to your effects panel get your hue and saturation and drag that onto the MOV and then you can play around with the hue value and sort of match the color of the fire to the footage that you're working with. And one more cool thing guys is we actually exported these in 48 FPS. So if you want, you can double the speed of the, the transition like I'm doing now. You just need to remember to double the speed of the clip that's here and also the clip that's inside your compound clip so that they continue to match up. And then you want to realign your, all of your clips so that the, uh, the overlap with the first clip is still correct. But that's it guys, that's the burning paper transition in Final Cut. Thanks for watching.